Good morning, everyone. We are continuing here in the words of the Chavetz Chaim, the Sefer Mitzvah Zakatsar, and we are still in Mitzvah 14, which is the Mitzvah of Shinon Tamlevanecha. There's a positive commandment to learn Torah and to teach Torah. And he concludes today with the following words, V'isha petura mitam Torah. A woman is exempt from learning. And the reality is, is that a woman doesn't need the learning in the way that a man does. The very nature of the Yetzirah and the Taivas, the physical desires and pleasures of a man, he needs the Torah to refine him, to polish him up, to take him out of the physical world and place him into the spiritual realms. And therefore a man has an obligation daily as much as he possibly can dedicate his time to sitting and learning our Kodesh Baruch Hu's Torah. A woman, the Neshechayo, the, the prime warriors of Klal Yisrael, the women of valiancy of the Jewish people, they themselves are already born on a higher spiritual plane. Their ruchni, their spiritual, their nisham is something that is nispashed, it spreads out much more in their life. It is something that is much more a part of who they are. And therefore, she doesn't need the Torah to refine her. She doesn't need the Torah to elevate her. She doesn't need a sugi in shas, a rashi, a taisas, a machlekes, an argument with the rashba in order to sharpen her mind. On the other hand, the amun apshuta, the simple faith and the simple kedusha and the holiness of a woman is, is already placed, has placed her on a higher madrig, a higher level of ruchnius than the man. And therefore she's petura. She doesn't have an obligation. She wants to learn a little bit. There are wonderful things for women to learn. Musr and halacha and agadata, all the one of chumish, all the wonderful things that a woman has an obligation that she should learn, that she should know. There's a famous Gemara that says that a child, when it's inside of the <coughs> bent and inside the stomach in the womb of the mother, it's learning with a malach, it's learning with an angel, kol kula, all of the Torah, comes into this world, forgets everything, and then we have to gain it back throughout our lifetimes. If a woman doesn't have an obligation to learn Torah, so what is she learning with the malach? Is there an angel that's learning with her? She's not going to be obligated to sit her life in yeshiva and go and peruse all of Shas, all of the Talmud, to be able to get it back. So what does she learn? So I saw from Rav Chaim Kanievsky, he says, she learns with the Malach, with the angel, everything that she needs in the world of Torah to live a fulfilled Torah life in this world. Which means she has to know the halachas in the kitchen, Shabbos, Yom Tev, raising children. She has to learn the Torahs of Musr, that she should have the best midas, the best character traits, and be able to work on herself in her life. She needs to know the Torah of Chinuch Chabanim, how to raise her children in the proper way. Whatever it is that a woman needs to know in the realm of Torah, that is what she is learning inside the womb, together with the Malach, with the angel. And therefore, even when she comes into this world, although there's not an obligation to learn the way that a man does, she doesn't need that. Nevertheless, to learn those things that is beneficial for her, Avodis Hashem, for her service of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, for her kiyam mitzvahs, keeping the mitzvahs, and for even for growing herself in this, in this world, that she has to learn, and she should learn, she should, a woman should also learn every single day, but it's not the obligation that a man has. Then he writes, Even if she doesn't have an obligation to learn, but what about her children? She should make many efforts to ensure that her children don't turn out to be ame'aretz, ignoramuses. She should make sure that she encourages them to learn. She should make them cookies and milk when they come back from yeshiva at night so they can see how proud their mother is of them, that she waits up for them and she gives them a treat. She should see the smi- they should see the smile on her face when they say over the Torah by the Shabbos table to realize how much nachas mommy has when the kindalachah is steiging and growing in Torah. She should wake up early and drive them in carpool and take them even if she has to drive 45 miles to 45 five minutes to an hour plus to get her children to the school that's going to be best for their learning. And she should pick them up at the end of the day with a smile on her face and say, Kindalach, I'm so proud of you. You are learning HaKadosh Baruch Hu's Torah. 
whatever a mother can do to try to ensure to the best of her abilities that her children don't become ignorant, but rather they are versed in Torah and mitzvahs, this is the obligation the woman has in the realm of learning and teaching Torah. The Talmud Torah, we'll save this for tomorrow because this is a big statement that the Chavetz Chaim is about to make. Have a wonderful day, Afreilich and Chanukah, and we'll see you tomorrow, Be'ez Hashem.